This is News 8 Now at Noon. Good afternoon and thanks for watching News 8 Now. I'm Dua Srar. The Kadat Elementary School was evacuated yesterday after a bomb threat was found in the girls' bathroom. According to law enforcement and district officials, the threat was written on a wall. The school followed their crisis plan and evacuated all students to the nearby high school. Police, fire department crews, and district leaders searched the building but didn't find any explosives. All students returned to the elementary school and were dismissed at a normal time. Police and school officials finished their investigation and found the student who wrote the threat. Classes will resume normally today. The father of Anthony Huber, one of the two men shot and killed by Rittenhouse, filed a lawsuit in 2021. In it, he accused police officers of allowing a dangerous situation that resulted in his son's death. He alleged that Kyle Rittenhouse cooperated with law enforcement to harm protesters. Rittenhouse was charged with killing two men and injuring another during a Kenosha protest in 2020, claiming self-defense. He was eventually found not guilty on all five felony charges in 2021. Wisconsin children have new vaccine requirements. The state's Department of Health Services is making changes immediately to the rules for meningitis and whooping cough immunizations. Also, chickenpox infections must be documented by a qualified health care provider. Parents need to check with child cares to make sure they have the proper documents. Schools will start the changes for the 2023 to 2024 school year. This comes after 88.7% of students met the minimum vaccination requirements last year. Experts say everyone is safe when more kids are vaccinated. Anytime we see a decline in immunization rates, it does mean that fewer kids are protected, and that is of concern. We know that some diseases, such as measles, require a very high level of immunity um, to prevent an outbreak from spreading. Talk to your child's doctor if you have any questions about vaccines. The state has a Vaccines for Children program that can help provide low-cost or free vaccines for those who need them. Well, we've definitely seen a very cold start here to the day so far with minimal or with uh, low temperatures that is into the single digits. And some of us like some of the cold spots, typically like Black River Falls and Sparta, saw temperatures anywhere between around one to even just below zero out there this morning. And uh, we have warmed up since then. But as we take a look at those current conditions, it's still very cold out with temperature readings anywhere between those uh, mid teens to upper teens and even as low as around 20 degrees right now in La Crosse. But a little bit breezy out there too with those northwest winds and lots of sunshine at least to work with. In the meantime, our current temperatures are in the teens now everywhere else. Uh, 19 right now in Viroqua. At some of the warmer spots though down south, Prairie du Chien and Basquebel, you're currently between 25 to 26 degrees. Had a few clouds uh, move in earlier. That was from the cold front and we are expecting much colder air to start working its way in from the north. And that's going to really cool us down, especially as we head into this evening. Temperatures dropping into the single digits between 7 and 9 and then below zero as we head into those overnight hours and coming up in a bit duo, we're going to talk about that full weather forecast, give you uh, all the details and what we can expect. All right. Sounds good. Yeah. Mitch Reynolds, mayor of the city of La Crosse, hereby proclaim Saturday, February 4th, 2023 as Transit Equity Day. Mayor Reynolds and local advocates are meeting to commemorate Transit Equity Days. People across the nation will spend Saturday honoring the work of civil rights icons in their fight for access to transportation. In La Crosse, it's been a week-long celebration. MTU riders have been receiving free rides this week with special appearances from local elected officials. Members of the La Crosse Area Transit Advocates say this week is about fighting for better access to transportation for everyone. That's what La Crosse Transit Advocates is here to do is to try to push the envelope further along and to let the transit agency and the public officials know what we as riders really need to happen to make the system better. La Crosse MTU will be offering free buds, bus rides through Saturday. After several years and a couple of delays, Gunderson St. Joseph's Hospital and clinics have broken ground on its new clinic location in Elroy. The new facility will provide patients with a comfortable care setting. 
Solar panels will make the clinic 100% energy independent. According to the hospital administrator, a local clinic will bolster the community. We're so excited to bring this clinic downtown to Elroy. We feel like it's important not only for the health of the population, but also the economic development for the community. Governor Tony Evers presented a nearly $4.3 million check courtesy of the Healthcare Infrastructure Capital Grant Program. The construction is due to be finished by the end of this year. Well, still to come at News 8 Now on noon, good news for consumers. The Biden administration is addressing credit card late fees. Meet a doctor who connects all the dots. Oftentimes, people with low back pain, knee pain, or hip pain don't even recognize that it's actually coming from their feet. Their feet? For real? Absolutely, 100%. It can have a domino effect because their foot and their ankle aren't supported properly. Their whole body is out of whack. Getting back into whack? Good feet arch supports could help. Keeping your body in good alignment, that can go a long way. Come in for your free fitting at the Good Feet Store. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid. Not because of the drill, but because of the bill. A big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company. It's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You can even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line, you'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Take your day from good to great with Perkins Great Plates under $10. Get big flavor and bigger savings with our Magnificent 7 breakfast, Big Bacon BLT, and more. And don't forget a delicious pie from our bakery. Save time and order online at perkins2go.com. Got a good feeling about this, yeah, I'm with it. I got a good feeling about this, yeah, so let's get it. I'm feeling good vibes. We're replacing these faucets completely. Drew has redone your mudroom. You don't know what you've done for me. Everybody ready for their big reveal. Woo! He looks hot. Oh! I've been dreaming about this for weeks. Oh! Is a last minute cancellation a red flag? I should have worn a bra. <laughs> this is what I care about. Stocks rallied Wednesday after the Federal Reserve Chairman indicated that inflation is slowing. CBS News' Chanel Call has the latest business headlines from New York. The central bank continued its fight against inflation Wednesday by raising a key interest rate for the eighth consecutive time. The Federal Reserve announced a smaller quarter point hike to bring the benchmark rate to the highest level in more than 15 years. In a statement, the Fed signaled that even though inflation is easing, further rate hikes are likely. The Biden administration announced a new proposal to curb credit card leaf fees, which it says have cost U.S. consumers $12 billion each year. The new proposed rule would cap leaf fees at $8, though companies could charge more depending on the cost of collecting payment. The rule is subject to a 30-day public comment period before finalization. And Samsung has unveiled its latest Galaxy 23 smartphones, calling them their, quote, most sustainable ever. The company says the S23, S23 Plus, and S23 Ultra contain more recycled materials than any previously released Galaxy phone. They'll hit store shelves on February 17th, and the base model starts at just under $800. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call.
As we head to break, here is a live look at the New York Stock Exchange. Stay with us. More news is next. Home and Locker and Meat Market, your place for fresh, quality local meat. It's time for the annual hog sale. Order a half hog for $3.45 or a whole hog for $6.85. Price includes smoking of bacon and ham. Home and Locker and Meat Market and much, much more. And he was a kid, four years old, he had lats. The only way you get lats is from doing prison time and doing pull-ups. He was a bad little kid. He was so evil, his first baby tooth, it came in chipped. Walking around the neighborhood smoking his mama's cigarettes. Get ready for the comedy of Marlon Wayans, the Microphone Fiend Tour. Saturday, February 11th at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Black River Falls, Wisconsin, with special guest D.C. Irvin. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. Don't miss Marlon Wayans, live. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present Our Community Cares. Join us for the 100th Annual Snowflake Ski Jump, February 3rd and 4th at Timber Cooley outside of Westby. World-class ski jumping Friday night under the lights on the big hill and Saturday starting at 945. It's the 73rd Annual Prairie du Chien Ice Fishery Ice Fishing Derby. The events start Friday, February 3rd and go through Sunday, February 5th. Go to prairieduchene.org for more details. For more information on these events or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Home and Locker and Meat Market, your place for fresh, quality, local meat. Now's the time to stock up with our beef bundle, which includes ground beef, beef roast, sirloin steak, and cube steak. Eat healthy. Shop local at your Home and Locker and Meat Market and much, much more. Getting the right medication for your pain and the dangerous risks of feeling lonely. Christian Benavides has a look at some of the day's top health stories. A new study in the UK finds social isolation and loneliness are linked to a greater risk of heart failure. Researchers found that if a person was socially isolated and felt lonely, loneliness was more of a factor. They say both stressors are more common in men and are linked to tobacco use and obesity. More people are using antidepressants for chronic pain, but scientists are questioning whether they are effective. Researchers in Australia found only some classes of antidepressants decreased pain for adults. They advised doctors to be more selective when prescribing medication for pain management. And the eating disorder known as ARFID is often inherited through genetics. That's the finding of a new study about the disorder that is characterized by the avoidance of certain types of food. People with ARFID may have a fear of choking or have a sense of discomfort from the appearance of food that can lead to malnutrition. That's a look at some of the day's top health stories. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Miami. Here's a live look through City Cam 8. Derek is in next with our forecast. Right now is absolutely the best time of year to buy furniture, and Slumberland Furniture is the best place during our huge President's Sale. Check out this gorgeous sectional, and it comes with a free ottoman, plus so much more during our huge President's Sale at Slumberland Furniture. Cold weather and winter winds remind us that old windows and doors are not our friends. New windows and doors, expertly installed by certified installers, bring comfort, convenience, energy savings, and a great new look. Begin now in choosing just the right windows for your home. Order now and avoid the inevitable price increase in the new year. No worries about missing a promotion. The board store offers you the best possible price every day and any day. Contact us online or visit our showroom for a prompt free estimate on windows and doors or other home improvements. Whether you use it as a workshop or simply as a space to store your vehicle, Menards has everything you need for your garage. Chamberlain garage door openers bring quality and value to your home. Belt drive models have a much quieter operation and are perfect for an attached garage. Chamberlain also offers MyQ smartphone control with Wi-Fi built in, allowing you to open and close your garage door from anywhere. Save big money on Chamberlain garage door openers. Save big money at Menards. When we designed the all-new Honda Pilot Trail Sport, we made it adventure ready. With features like off-road tuned suspension, an enhanced all-wheel drive system, all-terrain tires, and trail watch. So you can blaze new trails. The all-new Pilot Trail Sport. 
the most off-road capable Honda SUV ever. Look at the mattresses. <laughs> <laughs> Buying a mattress can be uncomfortable. That's why Slumberland has modernized the process. Right now at our huge president sale, get this Sealy Posturepedic mattress for $5.99. Slumberland, mattress shopping reinvented. New windows can give you a whole new view of the world around you. Call today for a prompt free estimate from the Board Store Home Improvements, 782-8877. The 8000 Plus app. Stream on your time. Well, this, mor or this morning was pretty cold. We saw temperatures into those single digits, and some of us were even below zero. Now, we have since warmed up from then, but our temperatures are still very cold at 20 degrees. Lots of sunshine, though, to work with. A feel like temperature right now of 4 degrees when you factor in the 22 mile per hour wind out of the northwesterly direction. Current conditions from the north and Eau Claire. You're looking sunny. Temperatures here for you at 12 degrees. A feel like temperature, though, of minus 4. Look at the wind gust gusting up to 30 miles an hour. That's why it feels so chilly out there here for you. Meanwhile, while the rest of us are into those upper teens to low 20s as you head out the door for your lunch hour. 13 degrees, mostly sunny at 3 o'clock, mostly sunny at 10 degrees here for 5 o'clock hour. And then by this evening, we drop down to 5. We'll be in the single digits as we head to the 7 o'clock hour here tonight. So our forecast highs are into the teens, low 20s, as you can see from Winona, southward into La Crosse, and also even as far south as Viroqua into the 20s there, low 20s that is, and then the mid to upper 20s as far south as Prairie du Chien and Bosqueville. A few clouds out there right Right now that should clear out though as we head into the early to mid afternoon skies will continue to feature mostly sunny very similar to what you're seeing outside right now as a matter of fact and then by six o'clock this evening only a few clouds scattered around the coulee region for us to uh, work with here now let's take you into wind chill tracker because this is really what we're going to be dealing with as we progress throughout the day those wind chills are going to drop basically from here on out we did have a cold front move through so not only is it lowering our temperatures but it will be lowering the wind chills so we are going to be looking at wind chill values below zero for everybody here this afternoon and look at this as we head into overnight around 1 a.m. Wind chills anywhere between minus 20 to as low as minus 30 degrees in some spots and this is really going to continue into early tomorrow morning so make sure to wear plenty of layers make sure to keep yourself as warm as possible out there with these wind chills below zero still in the forecast as we head into Friday afternoon. By that point, wind chills won't be as severe like what they're going to be overnight, but still very cold here throughout the day on Friday and also into Friday night. They're going to get pretty cold again as wind chills will still be anywhere between 10 to 20 below zero in some spots into early Saturday morning. And so really thanks to this cold front that just moved through the area this morning. We expect the cold air to continue to filter in from the north as uh, that cold front continues to push its way towards the south. We're also got an area of high pressure that that we're dealing with to help reinforce that cool air moving in and also give us some quiet weather conditions for us to work with as we round out the rest of this week and also into the weekend too. quiet conditions. But yeah, we got the, another wind chill advisory here coming up. This is going to start at six o'clock and then go until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning because the wind chills could be as low as 30 below zero, as we just saw there on the wind chill tracker. But still some good news here on the horizon. We are watching very warmer temperatures to move in. A much warmer air mass is going to settle in across the area, and that's going to keep our temperatures well above average, making it pretty mild here. So after we get through this next uh, big cold snap for tomorrow, we're going to warm up our temperatures into the 30s as we head into the weekend and also into much of next week. Our highs will continue to be mainly into the 30s there to us. So we're going to feel more of a heat wave coming in. We're also watching a slight chance of rain and snow showers on Monday, perhaps maybe a few flurries on Tuesday as well. I was saying those 30s look really nice. Yeah, it's going to feel good out there. So yeah. it's got to get through tomorrow, and then I think we're in better shape. So plus the sunshine, I'm assuming it'll then feel warmer. Yeah, exactly. That too. All right. So, thanks, Derek. Yep. Well, when we come back for students of this year's winner of the Grammy Music Educator Award, their teacher is so much more than a role model. She's family. That story is next. Yes, I'm a smoker. And yes, I'm aware I should quit. I get pressure from everyone I love and everything around me. Smoking is really, really bad for you. Yet sometimes that pressure alone is enough to make me want to light up. The Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line. No judgments, just free help and medications. Without the lectures, call the Wisconsin Tobacco Quit Line at 1-800-QUIT-NOW. 
I love helping people get into a new home, whether it's a first home, moving to the area, or a forever home. I'm here to help from start to finish. They actually worked with us with our existing home and selling that and getting us into a retirement home. They've given us all different options, what to go with and what is the best for us financially. And they're so wonderful for working with us and figuring out what we needed to do and how fast we could do it. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Losing a loved one is difficult. Remember the good times and life accomplishments of those who have passed by visiting the news8000.com obituaries page. Brought to you by Celebration of Life Events at Celebrations on the River. When you watch News 8 now, expect the facts. A vote to close the nearly 100-year-old Lincoln Middle School. We are put in this place because the state legislature refuses to fund public education appropriately. Expect community. Five dollars for soup, bread, and a vote. Winner tonight is going to get a couple thousand dollars to make their project happen. A quarterly micro-grant funding organizer. He hopes that tonight's efforts will better help the community in the long run. We are News 8. Expect more. You live a life on demand. Movies, shows, and more. Your local news, weather, and sports shouldn't be different. The 8000 Plus app is the free streaming option, giving you everything local on your time. If you have one of these, you can get this. Vote for your favorites now at bestoflacrossecounty.com. You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. CBS Mornings revealed this year's 2023 Music Educator Award presented by the Recording Academy and the Grammy Museum. Jamie Wax introduces us to the Texas High School Choir Director who's hitting all the right notes. There are sweet sounds in the air around DeSoto High School. Coming from a classroom led by a teacher with a maternal nickname. Mama, Mama Dawson. Dawson. I've always been Mama Dawson, ever right. since I've known it. Pam Dawson has been the choir teacher at DeSoto since 2007. She expected so much from me, but she helped me to get to those expectations. She treated me like her child, and that's one thing I really appreciate about her. Dawson comes from a musical family in Detroit, Michigan, one of eight kids and the only girl, which she says made her parents overprotective. My mother didn't let me do much, so the only thing I did was practice. And she got good at multiple instruments, including the harp. Despite her talent, Dawson didn't pursue a career in music, instead working office jobs, until she was coaxed by a colleague into teaching. Got in front of those kids that first day and said, oh my God, I miss my calling, this is it. <laughs> It's clear that Mama Dawson has embraced that calling, and her lessons go well beyond notes on a scale. You gave a direction to your choir, something to the effect of go in strong, don't go in timid. That seems like something that is not just about that performance, but is the way you live your life. It's the way I live my life, and that's what I'm teaching them every day, that it's not about music, I'm teaching them life skills. Talk to her students, past and present, and they'll agree. This is my first year teaching. When I go back and I think about how she made me feel in that class, that's the main thing I want to do in my class. She built my attitude, my confidence. She's always been there. I can't imagine me without her. For years, Mama Dawson has asked one thing of her students. When you go away and fly away and you get your Grammy, Make sure you say, Miss Dawson was the one who encouraged me to do this and follow this. Of course, now it is she who gets to thank them. If it wasn't for them, I don't think I would be where I am. Jamie Wax, CBS News. Stay with us. We'll have one more check of your forecast when we return. A prosecutor, now Circuit Court Judge, Janet Protasewicz. On the Supreme Court, I'll be a common sense judge. I'll protect public safety. I believe in a woman's freedom to make her own decision on abortion. It's time for a change. Take your day from good to great with Perkins Great Plates under $10. 
Get big flavor and even bigger savings with our Magnificent 7 breakfast. Big Bacon BLT, Short Stack, and more. All for under $10. And don't forget a delicious pie from our bakery. Save time and order online at PerkinsToGo.com. Ubrelvi helps you fight migraine attacks. You put it all on the line. You do it all. So you bring Ubrelvi. It can quickly stop migraine in its tracks within two hours without worrying if it's too late or where you are. Unlike older medicines, Ubrelvi is a pill that directly blocks a protein believed to be a cause of migraine. Do not take with strong 63A4 inhibitors. Most common side effects were nausea and tiredness. Migraine pain relief starts with you. Learn how Appy can help you save. Ask about Ubrelvi, the anytime, anywhere migraine medicine. Monster Truck Nitro Glow Tour will invade the lacrosse center with two big shows. February 17th and 18th, Monster Truck Strong Racing and Tough Truck Racing. Plus all new inflation buster prices. Limited tickets, only 10 bucks. Available only online. VIP tickets, exclusive pit party pass, and the best seat. Get tickets at Ticketmaster.com, MonsterTruckTour.com, or the box office. Subject services. Ride in a real Monster Truck. Kids get a free tour gift at the Friday show while supplies last. 7.30 p.m. Both shows, February 17th and 18th, the lacrosse center. I'm voting for Judge Janet Protasiewicz for Supreme Court. She believes in our freedom to make our own decisions when it comes to abortion. Extremists want to ban abortion. Even in cases of rape and the health of the mother. Judge Janet Protasiewicz is the change Wisconsin needs. Much colder tomorrow with a high of 9 degrees with wind chills as low as 30 below. Unfortunately, with that wind chill advisory starting at 6 p.m. going until tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. for all of the Cooley region. But the good news is this weekend we hit the 30s for our highs, even our lows uh, responding to that too, warming up into the low 20s. Next week, high temperatures continue into the 30s with lows into the teens and 20s. Slight chance of rain, snow Monday, flurries possible on Tuesday. So, Dua, how are you going to celebrate these warmer temperatures? Because oh, I think that, we deserve a break. Look at that beautiful city cam right <laughs> behind us. That's how I'm celebrating. There you Thank go. you for watching News 8 Now at noon. We'll see you back here tonight.